would have a more active, live fastball that would move a little bit. Breaking ball might even move a bit more simply because of the three days rest. There are the numbers against the Tigers. Yeah, Tim, he was really in the ball game. The Long Beach State 49ers were in that ball game with LSU very late in the game. Those home runs really came to blow the game open. So it was very tight. It was even though the final was seven and one, it was a tight game into the seventh. That's the pitch that Daniel Troy wants right there, because he does feature a sinking type fastball, as you mentioned, especially going on three days rest. He might be a little bit more tired, hence the ball might sink a little bit more. So he really needs that low strike. The 2 1 pitch. They appeal down to first base, but umpire Jim Garman says, uh uh, he didn't go around. So Troy is down in the count three and one to Harris. Fooled him that time, didn't he? Yeah, it's interesting. The uh, three run, three one count that uh, Harlan, the stolen base leader for the Eggs, didn't, wasn't in motion there. They must uh, respect Watley behind the plate, plus Troy's ability to hold the runner on. Mark Johnson giving the signals with a 3 2 count. Harlan been very successful with the stolen base this year. There he goes on the run and hit. He should get one, but the throw is wild. Nice job by the first baseman, Jeff Leifer, to get down on the bag and make the tag of the bag. It would have been very easy to try to swipe Harris coming by with a mitt. He made the right choice. Here's a 3-2 pitch. Harris gets a fastball and jerks it down the line. Falska makes a nice backhand stab, comes up fire and knows Harris can run well. And then a nice stretch at first base by Smith. And they just do get the out. Nice play on both corners. It's over here. Nope, it's over there. It's a little windy here. It is. Brian Thomas stands in. Shot foul. Down the right field side, Smith unable to catch up to it. Get your cotton candy. I mean, the wind is even a factor there. You got more on a shirt than on the uh, little cone there. <laughs> One and two the count. Harlan, who opened with a single, moves over to second. In on the hands and into short right. Cradle can't come up with it. Mark Johnson will hold Harlan at third, and there are runners at the corners, and Brian Thomas's bat remains hot. That's his fifth hit in the College World Series in nine official at-bats. John Curl. Big, tall, left-handed first baseman with some power. He's two for seven in the series with an RBI and three runs scored. Outside for a ball. In talking with uh, Dave Snow and asking him about his concerns offensively for Texas A&M, this is one of the batters that they thought might give Troy a problem. John Curl. There you get a look at the grip of Daniel Choi and the first base coach for the Aggies is staring at it quite intently and if he does not rotate that ball in his glove sometimes you can pick up the pitches that way. There's first base coach Hickey eyeing Daniel Choi. Dave Snow's going to come out and chat with his pitcher. And Watley also coming out there to chat with him. Pretty obvious he's struggling to start. A location pitcher that is, uh, oh, maybe a six inches to a foot off his target. 
with all the pitches, whether it be a fastball or a breaking ball. Aggies of Texas A&M, a winner over Kansas, five to one. Jeff Granger was the winner. First round draft pick of the Kansas City Royals and a former starting quarterback for the Aggie football team. And then in game two, a game that certainly got away from the Aggies, leading it by as many as five runs, seven to two. LSU comes back with the help of five Aggie miscues to win the game by a score of 13 to eight and a dramatic eighth inning home run by All-American Todd Walker. And Scott Schultz was the pitching star of that game who was one of five Tiger pitchers used by Skip Bertman in order to get that victory. 2-0 the count to Curl. Number goes foul in front of Brian Smith at first. That's an example of Daniel Choi at this level, at the collegiate level. He threw him a 2-0 changeup. I mean, those are the kind of things that you see in the big leagues, but you don't often see them here at this level. There you see his grip, and when you see a finger spaced apart like that, a lot of times that's a fastball. And when the fingers go together, it can be a curveball. If you see a lot of white on the... On the